These are the photos Aurora police now say were taken by their own officers in October, mocking the death of Elijah McLean. We are ashamed, we're sickened, and we're angry. While the allegations uh, of this internal affairs case are not criminal, it is a crime against humanity and decency. Late today, the city's interim police chief announced these two officers would be fired for conduct unbecoming. A third would have been fired but resigned first. A fourth was also let go after getting the photos in a group text and responding, ha ha. That fourth officer, Jason Rosenblatt, had also been involved in the initial encounter with McLean. But, uh, to say ha ha so. when he was engaged in the incident with Elijah McLean is absolutely unacceptable. McLean was a 23-year-old massage therapist. His family says he sometimes wore a ski mask to keep warm because he was anemic. Stop. I have a right to stop you because you're being suspicious. He was walking home when Aurora officers stopped him and shortly after tackled him, applied a carotid hold and later a sedative. McLean died at the hospital days later. The coroner said the cause of death was undetermined. An internal police investigation found the officers followed policies and the district attorney declined to file charges. But last week, the governor appointed a special prosecutor to investigate. The Aurora Police Department has a long, sordid, horrible history of both racism and brutality. That needs to stop today. In the wake of George Floyd's death, McLean's case has drawn renewed attention nationwide. Tonight, these pictures are sparking new outrage. Not only do we have a racism problem in America, we have a morality problem in America, right? The fact that someone could make light of someone's death in any fashion is just, it's, it's immoral. Late today, the Aurora Police Union released a statement calling the internal investigation a rush to judgment and saying that the Aurora Police Chief was unfit for her position. Tonight, another protest is scheduled here.